Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So, in this lecture, we'll see uh, what is the role of a site engineer, what is a career growth he has, and how you can you know reach to the higher positions once you gain the knowledge. Okay, yeah. So, uh, a site engineer is a good job to start for anyone, right? If you're a fresher, I would always recommend uh, to go to the site, learn how the things are practically executed. Then you can become a quantity estimator, or you can become a uh, billing engineer, you can become a planning engineer, uh, get into structural firm, whatever it may be. But this is like a, a very basic for us because unless and until we don't know how the executions are done, it's very difficult to imagine when we start to do the designs and all, right? Designing doesn't, I mean, designing is also a challenging job, but when it comes to designing, it's easy. I mean, when it comes to detailing, I can directly detail. Let us say, if I have a column 230 by 450, I can say provide a 16 diameter six bar. But practically, if you see it on the site, whether it is possible or not. So when you have practically worked on the site, then it's going to make more impact. So it's a good job to start and it is very good. Okay. The second is that, of course, the job is hectic. I always say after the army and after the doctors, the site engineer job is very difficult because army, they have to be there. 24 into 7 into 365 days, even the doctors, even they get a call at 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock in the night. If there is an emergency, they need to rush to the hospital. Even a site engine job is also very difficult. Uh, we need to work from Monday to Saturday and half day even on the Sunday, if you're working for a small firm and all. If you're working in MNC, uh, then it depends. But all the site engineers, they make you to work even on Saturdays. Sunday will be a holiday in most of the construction uh, if it is an MNC company. But if you're getting more paid, like the company where I, where I was working, we used to get uh, the salary, uh, the complete, we used to get additional salary even, uh, even, even, uh, even, even going on Sundays. So we used to go, right? But it depends whether you want to go or not, right? And we used to go morning, uh, the site was like morning 8.30 and it was till night uh, 11 o'clock we were on the site. Of course, we used to come for the lunch for 1 to 2 and go back to the site again from 2 o'clock. Then evening we come for the snacks. We spend another 15, 20 minutes and again we go back, right? So that is a typical uh, trend and that is a, a typical journey of a site engineer. And initially you have to work in this way, right? Because if you want to reach newer heights, if you want to earn in lakhs, uh, initial two, three years, uh, this is how you're supposed to work. There's nothing like easy life. And don't compare your life with the IT people and say uh, they're working from Monday to Friday earning in lakhs. That is a different journey. If you want to shift your career, shift it, no issues. But if you want to be a site engineer, if you want to help in the uh, development of the country, and if you are really passionate about it, then you can go with this job. Yeah. Uh, no work-life balance, like I mentioned, uh, because initially if you're uh, someone who is not married, there is nothing like work-life balance and all, right? Two, three years, you can struggle. But once you get married and all, then uh, then there's a problem even if you go on Saturday, Sundays and all. That's a different thing altogether. But initial two, three years, uh, if you're a bachelor uh, working on Saturday, Sunday, doesn't matter. It's not about what you're going to do in the first two, three years. It's about how you're understanding the concept. It's about how much effort you're going to put in the first two, three years. That is going to lift your life uh, in future, right? Your, your life is not uh, a 30 years journey, right? right it may go up to 40 50 60 70 and all so that is important what you're going to become after 10 years of experience so the first two three exp two three years of experience is very important for you and that is okay you have to work it's there's nothing like easy life i always mention and work on sundays but it depends on mnc companies and all the sundays like i mentioned and if you're working in uh, abroad and all then there are strict rules like they don't make you to work on sundays and all so that's how it depends on the company hmm? A uh, pay is less initially. I do agree. Uh, uh, the thing is, again, it depends so what company you get in, what are the skills you have and all those things. But initially, uh, 18, 20, 25 is a basic pay what you get. But there are chances. There are people, those who have got uh, 35,000 also initially. I told you example in one of my lecture, right? So that is how it is. But if you want to earn more, then you need to uh, switch to the bigger companies later like Tata, JSW, Total Environment, uh, LNT, uh, Nagarjuna Construction. There are many. Right, it depends, but initially it's okay. Salary can vary from 50 to 70. It's not, uh, not lag. Okay, sorry for that. If it is lag, you'll become Karodpati, you'll become Ambani. 50 to 75 thousands. Yeah, right, thousand spelling is right. Give me a minute. Yeah, so salary can vary from 50 to 75 thousand. 
after three, four year experience, depends on the company. Again, don't take it very seriously. Recently, one of my students, he switched to a different uh, building project. Um, uh, he's get, he told he is getting around 30,000 after having three year experience. So again, I've written 50, but again, it depends. But there are people after three, four year experience having uh, getting, you know, around 50 to 75. 75 is on a very higher side, I've told. Uh, so I, I, I'll cut it down. So I don't want to send you a wrong message. You can go with the 50 to 30 to 50, I would say. And we'll go this, I'll take this to three to, uh, you know, five, five, six. I'll go with the higher, higher side. Okay. So don't, uh, I don't want to spread any wrong information here. Okay, so I'm taking it on higher side. Hmm? Yeah, salary can vary from 30 to 50,000. And I've seen people after three years getting 30,000. Uh, fine, you get it. And 50 can go up to five to six year experience. Again, depend which company you work, how you are performing and all those things matters. Okay, yeah. So initially what happens if you're working in a bigger MNC, you start as a GT, which I started as a GT, that is a graduate trainee engineer. Then you become a junior engineer. And after junior engineer, you become a senior engineer. Then after senior engineer, you go with the assistant site manager. Then you go with the site manager. Uh, then uh, there is a senior site manager. Yeah, after assistant site manager, you have a senior site manager. Then comes the site manager. Uh, site manager, senior site manager. Then you get a project manager, senior project management, dep uh, deputy project manager, project manager. And finally, you go to the MD level, right? But again, it depends. The hierarchy depends. Uh, from company to company. So the, usually this is what happens. But by the time you reach to this position and all project manager and all, uh, it will take like nearly eight to 10 years of your experience to reach to this level, okay? And again, it depends. If you're working under a small builder, uh, after two year experience, he can give you a tag or he can give you a, a designation as a project manager because it's a small builder. But to reach a project manager in a company like Tata's and uh, JSW and all, it will take, uh, around a seven, eight, nine year of experience and all. So it depends. Don't go with the name that you're a project manager. It depends what is the quality of work you do. It depends uh, under which company you're working, right? So this was all about the uh, site engineer job. Uh, this, okay, yeah. Now, uh, when I say site engineer, it doesn't mean that only in the building, there is a site engineer job. Uh, of course, building is a one thing. Then you can become a site engineer uh, for the roads. Then we have bridges, we have tunnels, we have railways, we have geo geotechnical people also, they become site engineer. Then of course the metro constructions and all. Now the important thing is how do you find a job, right? The first thing is that go to Google, check out which all are the company. Uh, okay, if, if that company is in a nearby area, go there, drop your resume, say that I'm looking for a job. Uh, I'm looking to work in your company, drop your resume and come and tell them, uh, do inform me if there is any vacancy, that's it. This is like, uh, you, it's like cold calling, I would say. You go, you drop and come. You're not sure whether you're going to get a call or not. Second is go for the YouTube channels. There are many YouTube channels which give updates regarding the job. I'll show you a few of the YouTube channels now, right? The third is check the company website. Like, let us go. I want to apply for a job. Go to the Tata. Go to Tata recent projects or something like that. You get a website. On the right side, you get an option called as careers. So go there. If there is any recent openings, you get apply, drop your resume. If there are no openings, you get option called as upload your resume, upload your resume. And if there is any uh, suitable position for you, they'll call you back. The best option is to be uh, active on LinkedIn. It has to be LinkedIn, right? LinkedIn, yeah. So the best thing is to be on the LinkedIn. It's a platform where uh, all the professionals are there. And uh, people keep on posting. I'll show you all those live things, what happens. Then uh, you can go with uh, nowcree.com, monster.com. These are the job hunting portals. Uh, where you update your profile and if people if someone is interested they call you but never pay money to get a job because uh, in most of the scams happen in this website in Mo now cream monster and all people say that pays uh, 1000 rupees or let us say you know uh, 50 dollars or something like that and will give you a job so don't fall in that trap then i'll always have a uh, you know what you call mouth with your seniors uh, if there is any references speak to them uh, in the neighborhood, you have someone, your seniors, or maybe your neighbor, someone is a civil engineer, go and give your resume to him. I've shown you how to make a resume. Don't directly drop a resume. I've shown you, I've given a complete 25 minutes resume building class to you live, how it has to be done. I, and also I've uploaded all those uh, resumes for you, right? So all these are the ways to hunt your job. Nothing is easy. No one will come and say, oh, see, we have opening, come and join. No one is going to do. Everyone is busy in their own world, right? So don't expect all those things. You want a job, people will not come, you have to go, right? Now I'll take you to a few of the things. 
Now come to this nokri.com. You have to register your account here. Okay, this option called as register, login, make your account. Then they will ask you a lot of questions. What job you're looking for and all, all those things. Now, let me search something. How do I search it? Okay. Nokri. I'll show you for Nokri. I'll put a Nokri a site engineer job. Site engineer job. So you get everything. Site engineer jobs. Not only Nokri, there are many websites nowadays, indeed, monster and all. I'll go to site engineer jobs. Okay, I'll let it open. I'll go to one channel. So there's a channel by name Learning Civil Technology. Uh, this guy keeps on updating uh, the recent uh, jobs which are coming every day is updating in future i'm also going to bring it on my youtube channel but till then you can follow this channel so you can see uh yeah uh, csi recruitment civil engineer you get daily you get update okay so keep a watch on this channel and i'll tell you how to do that let us say you want to apply here so the best part is that he will give you a job notification and where to apply all the procedure he is going to explain you this channel is in hindi yeah, now you can see here, he's asking for senior site manager. If you're a fresher, don't have to apply. See here, see uh, civil site engineer, structure engineer, 2022 graduate can also apply. Click on that, go here, forget about the salary and all, check here what is the uh, requirement. Okay, apply for the job, role is asking and all. And then you can, uh, there's option here to apply. Okay, yeah, a login to apply. So from here, you can apply. If there is any vacancies coming, uh, they're going to call you or they're going to schedule an interview for you, okay? Again, it's not a single day task. It will take time. Few day, few times you get call, you get rejected, you get fake calls and all. That's how it is. Again, you can see civil site engineer come here. So yeah, they are given here. See, what is the job description? Job description is called as JD. Sometimes you may not get. They'll ask you what is JD. JD stands for job description. Okay. Yeah. So see, interpretation of drawing. It is covered in my drawing reading course. Done. Preparation bar bending schedule. Done. Allotting work to the laborers, you, you learn it on the side. Supervision of construction work, entire construction methodology, 45 hours of a content, done, done. Preparing schedule of materials used and available, anyone can do. Plotting line level on construction site, surveyor will be there, help you out. Preparing work chart schedule can be done, okay, done. So in this way, you get the job description, go there and apply. Uh, I'll take one more, civil site engineer. Come here. Okay. He has not. Okay. He has written supervising the construction work at site. You can do that. Coordinate contractors done. Labors to carry out the work as per the drawing and timelines done. You can do that. Right. That's it. So in this way, I mean, I'm telling you how it has to be done. Got it? Yeah. So now we'll move to the next part. Next part. I don't know why this channel is not opening. Okay, leave it. I'll, and then the next important thing, what you're supposed to do is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a good thing. Go here, create your account on LinkedIn. Okay, create your account on LinkedIn, and then you get a lot of people here. Okay, you get a lot of people. So see, uh, Sandeep there, he's a structural engineer. Okay, then af after that, okay, look here, people are posting also. Let me show you a few of the. Yeah, see, look here, uh, engineer Zamil Sheikh. He's also my student, he's taken my course, but presently he's working in Tata. Yeah, yeah, Tata projects, okay. He's having around five year experience. I'll go back. Yeah, now what do they do? These people keep on updating whatever is happening on the site and all. So you can check the comment, how it happens. If you're so curious, you can just comment. Don't comment for any job here. Just comment uh, if you're interested to know how it works and all, you can do that. Instead of doing it, you can even personally chat on them. A uh, chat. Yes. See, this kind of things will happen. So you can earn money also, but I've shown you how it has to be earned. Okay. Yeah, you can see here. You come here, you will get a notification and apply link. Okay. You have to click here. That will take you to the uh, notification part. You can fill in the form and in that way you can apply for the job. Try to do it in third year, try to do it in the fourth year of your engineering. Don't wait uh, for your job, for your college to get out, then you're going to hunt. No, by the time you get out, you should have a job in hand. I mean, you should have, if you don't have no problem, it's not the end of the world, doesn't matter. Your time has not come. You don't have to worry regarding that, okay? Yeah. So again, you see here, 
right now let me show you a few other things okay So you get lot of things okay uh, i'm not finding any like recently i saw one uh, job here uh, they post uh, if uh, if someone is interested or they ask for the job here like uh, they, we have a vacancy if anyone is interested drop your mail uh, and a resume here so you can drop your resume over there right so right now i'm not finding anything but try to explore you learn all these things okay yeah okay Anyhow, I'll stop scrolling it. Uh, I'm not getting, but try to do that. You can do it on your own, right? So we understood how to apply on the nowcreate.com. We understood how to apply it on the LinkedIn. Then job portal, I can go here. Let us say uh, Tata projects. I'll go for Tata projects. Okay, Tata projects, I don't know, I'll work out. I'm not sure, okay? Let me try it out. I'm showing the web portal. It doesn't work out. Wait, recent openings. Put uh, recent, recent civil engineering openings in Tata projects. Okay. So these are the keywords what you put. You put it. Something will open. We'll see. See, I'm not prepared. I'm just applying. I'm telling you how it has to be done. Okay. Come here. You get something here. Okay, Tata Projects Limited for engineers. Click here. Check it out. Read it out. Okay. Read it out what is given. And then uh, you'll get a link uh, from here to go and apply. It's not written. Register here. Okay, I'll take a different thing. So in this way, you have to do it. Okay. Anyway, I'm not, uh, I'm not already done research and made it ready for you so i'm also searching here hmm? so in this way you get a lot of jobs opportunity you can see here how it is done yeah you can see here spm site engineer recruitment chennai so you go apply here it will take to the web portal okay you have to keep on applying whatever website you get it's like going and spamming there you go and apply out of 100 at least one somebody will call you at least out of thousand one or two people will call you right it's like uh, hitting a stone to a mango tree. You hit for 100, one or two mangoes will come down. Same thing. So you get here, all these things. So in this way, you have to apply. Okay. So it's not an easy task. Uh, no one will come and give you a job. This is how you're supposed to do, right? The best option is speak with your seniors, references, your neighbor. These are the people where you can get direct job because you have a, uh, they know you and they trust you. And this is one way of doing it. Second best option is LinkedIn. That's the second. Now cream monster is the last option. Okay. Because there are lakhs of people applying for this job and it all depends whether your resume gets selected or not, but LinkedIn, very few. I mean, there are many, but uh, you get a, a good amount of uh, opportunity there and that's how you can get a job. Many people get job through LinkedIn, right? So we have done all three. Let me check it out once again. Yeah. Company websites I've shown you. I've shown you, uh, yeah, you have to go to the company, drop it. LinkedIn, I've shown you. Monster, I've shown you. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's it, right? So I hope up to here, uh, your concepts are clear. In the next lecture, I'll tell you how to apply for the job of a structural engineer. The same thing, what is a uh, career path and all. So we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.